don't worry buddy i'll try to keep it under 10 minutes for you but just a word to the wise youtube videos only need to be eight minutes now before you could do a mid-roll ad Adam Sessler is what we're going to be talking about today. Growing up, I didn't really watch G4 TV. I would watch it occasionally over at my buddy Rob's house. I remember seeing Adam and Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, kind of the people who started out G4, and I thought it was a kind of cool thing. You know, I wasn't the biggest video gamer during that time frame when I was like, you know, 17, 18 years old. I was starting to get back into it a bit more though. So I thought it was a cool thing, but I know a lot of people grew up watching G4 TV, and that's why everyone was very excited when it was announced that it was coming back and all your nostalgia was going to be fulfilled and of course it ended up being nothing like the original there was a few characters from the original most of them had moved on to other things and you had people like frost who were insulting the audience and that was something that seemed to be happening pretty regularly on the new g4 it was always insulting the audience and really the mastermind behind all of that was adam sessler if you ever looked at his twitter page which i never followed you would see that he's kind of an unhinged individual making rants calling people names and saying all sorts of weird stuff that really a 49 year old man probably shouldn't be doing you would think they would be doing other things with their time but obviously the man has a lot of time on his hands now because g4 tv is of course dead and gone and i don't think he moved on to anything else a tweet came across my twitter timeline though that mr sessler had put out there and i decided you know what 2023 is the year of rgt kind of sticking it to people he's been a bit too nice lately so this is what transpired it's kind of a funny story and i, I just can't sit and help but sit here and laugh about it. So I figure you guys will get some joy out of it if you don't have a Twitter account. So this is the tweet that kind of came across my timeline. Somebody else had responded to it and I felt, you know what, why don't I throw my two cents in here and have a little bit of fun. Adam Sessler said the following, I have a theory on this. It's because gamers are small dick synaptically challenged social scabies. That's kind of what a lot of people who aren't intelligent like to do. They like to use terminology that isn't really a commonplace to sort of make themselves seem a bit more superior to you. And you'll see that that's an ongoing theme between my interactions with Mr. Adam Sessler throughout this whole conversation because he constantly tries to put himself up on a pedestal that doesn't really exist. So like I said, I saw this tweet and I decided to chime in. This was my reply to him because, um, you know, it was just my theory. You know, he had a theory, I had a theory, and I thought that this was a very appropriate theory. Well, Mr. Sessler was going on a blocking spree, but for some reason he decided to converse with me which probably was a great decision because there's a lot of people who would have just been like, oh, I'm not going to say anything else or, you know, I got his attention, but I I'm just here to have fun and I'm just here to talk a little smack back and forth. And if someone tries to put like a superiority complex over gamers when they themselves were involved in the video game industry for 20 plus years, I kind of take, you know, a bit of offense to that because I'm somewhat in the video game industry. So this is kind of what started our back and forth. Was this the most mature thing for me to say? No, but I didn't claim to be mature cool theory bro i'll take it under consideration while i'm explaining why gamers are the pubic lice of society maybe i'll wear a red nose i'm sure you probably know something about that i mean look at that beautiful face i'm sure you're getting top-notch women there buddy but um i, I thought this was kind of weird because once again you know gamers are the pubic lice of society says the man who worked in the video game industry for 20 plus years gamers are stupid so to me this was kind of a thing where i was like oh well, he must not consider himself to be, play video games anymore or, or be a gamer whatsoever. So I decided to press on. So are you calling yourself a micro dick pubic lice and are self projecting or are you not a gamer anymore? Just checking here, champ. I mean, this is pretty respectful coming from me. I'm just asking for a little bit of clarification. I'm having a conversation with this individual. So I wanted a little bit of clarification before we continue to further. Just you and yours. Never was a gamer myself. Don't overthink this bucko. So the individual, who was in the video game industry for 20 plus years was never a gamer. So to me, this, this put up a bunch of red flags and this is where I started to realize that maybe I'm talking to an individual who's a bit under the influence. Maybe he's had a few too many drinks. Maybe he's had a little bit too much nose candy. Who really knows? what is making him go on this sort of tirade as you can see here he, he's not doing great with his tweets to me as far as you know uh likes and stuff like that whereas mine seem to be doing a little bit better not that it really matters because that's just an ep contest but it's something i wanted to sort of point out because of the general perception of what's happening here this individual adam sessler has over 200 000 followers on twitter i only have over 50 000 on 
followers on Twitter. So realistically, if I was just talking out my ass and I had no real case here, uh, he would be destroying me with likes and people, you know, going behind him and championing for him, but it wasn't quite the case. So I simply replied, you worked in the gaming industry for 20 plus years, but didn't play games, so either you're a fraud or a liar. Which are we going to pick here? Never said I didn't play games. I'm replaying Jedi Fallen Order right now. Seriously, don't strain yourself putting this together. Semantics isn't good YouTube material. Well, Mr. Sessler, we will see how this video does in terms of views and new subscribers and shares and stuff like that. So I will let the people decide because I'm a man of the people, unlike you. Strain? None whatsoever. I'm just trying to figure out what puts you into a category that plays games but isn't a gamer because the math ain't mathing. Bro, that sounds like a you problem. I know who I am. And then at this point, I realized it's just time to go for the, the, the you know, the, the final shot here. You know, it's time to end this conversation. I was in the middle of playing some war zone with a couple of the homies. So I figured, you know what? I see an opportunity. I'm going to take this opportunity. So to his, I know who I am. I said a bitter, deranged and lonely 49 year old quote unquote gamer. I hope you find some peace in life because obviously there's something really wrong with you right now. I'll pray for you. And at this point in time, he had had enough. He was done with our conversation and he decided to block me. I put up a little funny tweet here and my final tweet praying for you because I was blocked. Somebody had sent me some of the other stuff that he was saying afterwards. Nothing really identifying me, but I thought this was a funny tweet and it seemed like a lot of other people liked it. But this is a situation that I talk about all the time on this channel where people virtue signal and they constantly champion for things and they act like they're better than other people because somewhere inside of them they have some demons they have some skeletons in their closet so in order for them to go to sleep at night in order for them to have a clear self-conscience they have to do things like virtue signal they have to act like they're better than you as a human and that you know some people are just disgusting vile creatures this is a 49 year old man at the end of the day a 49 year old man if you quote me on this if, if i'm 49 years old and i'm sitting here calling video game fans pubic lice and having small peepees and stuff like that put me in a home or put me out of my misery because there's obviously the only reason people know who you are is because of video games is because what you did for video games when you had the passion for it somewhere along the lines you lost the passion for it but when the monetary opportunity came back you jumped all over it like a seal performing tricks in front of an audience at a zoo you just wanted to make some easy money because nobody knows what you've been doing with yourself and what have you been doing with yourself going down a strange bitter deranged hole of where you are just attacking anyone who helped build you up in the first place the people who put you in the position that you are in you now have turned on them and you hate them why there's no real rhyme or reason for it all because you came back to a failing product that ended up failing like many people thought it was going to be an outdated medium in the world of things like youtube that came along replaced you and honestly did your job better than you ever did you got angry with that you got bitter at that and you realized that your impact wasn't as big as you thought it was it was a bit of an ego check for you that's why i go into this with the fun mentality video games to me is a fun thing I, I don't have an ego i'm just a guy who managed to find a microodium of success on the youtube platform and i enjoy doing what i do if i ever wake up one day and i don't enjoy the ride anymore i'll simply walk away from it i'll simply pivot to something else it seems like you're still hung up on this and all of your shortcomings and all of your internal struggle is based on gamers and you blame them instead of just looking in the mirror and realizing maybe it's yourself Maybe it's yourself, Adam. I'm sorry that you blocked me. I'm sorry to the guy at the start of the video. I think I went over a little bit over 10 minutes. I'll check it out when I'm editing this video. I just thought it was a funny story. They say don't ever meet your heroes, but I don't necessarily believe that. Just realize that some of your heroes maybe actually will be pieces of shit in real life. And I think this is a great example of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a share around. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.